How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about how I was able to complete the six inning program very quickly. I'm at 300 program stars as you can see from this screenshot right here. But I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about how I was able to get to this point. I did go ahead and complete uh, the daily missions that I had saved up. I was able to complete the 10 games of ranked seasons, battle royale, or events. There is not an event going on so I participated in BR for that. I completed the six inning conquest. I uploaded a previous video on that as well. And of course the six inning voucher, which is probably the most important thing in completing the program this quickly. Uh, after 24 hours that the program comes out, you are able to kind of complete it. I know it was completed uh, within the first 12 hours, actually within the first few hours that the program was released. Uh, some people kind of went into some friendly games and played like 300 inning games the day before. And then once the content went live, they kind of locked it in that way. Uh, some of these moments were pretty difficult. This is the uh, very last moment for the boss, and you need to hit two home runs, including one stolen base. But as you can see in the previous screenshot, I did select Ken Griffey Jr. I wanted to kind of upload these uh, clips out of order a little bit and take you guys through how I was able to complete this. So the very first thing I did was Conquest, and then, of course, locked in the voucher. I was able to complete the daily missions that I had in BR, which I will have some clips from that as well. I did have a 4-0 BR draft uh, already, so I will be trying to go 12-0 as well. I'm gonna have to win 10 games. I just wanted to let you know that there will be some highlights for some from some online games in this clip as well. But I'm at 260 stars after completing that last mission, which was hit two home runs and steal one base. It's tough because of that stadium, and as well as your face in Cy Young, who has really good home runs per nine. But once I was able to complete the conquest and all the moments missions included, lock the voucher in, all the dailies, I wanted to try and figure out a couple different ways to unlock the remainder of the program stars. And probably the best way to do it is to play uh, nine inning games against the computer. There is also a couple other ways to do it. You are able to, of course, play the friendly game. I don't recommend going in online, playing against a friend for 300 innings like some of the people that initially did that, just because uh, SDS can always look at your game history and they can find out that way that you are kind of messing with the game and they can ban you for that. I'm not really sure how that works. But to not risk that, I did find out another way. You can also go into a Play Now game with two different controllers and set it up. I also am going to choose Carlos Carrasco. These Just guys that have a quick motion, similar to how I was using those guys for the ranked seasons team or the team against play for CPU nine inning games. I would use guys that have a quick motion to the plate so that way I could get these games over with. But with two controllers, you are able to just throw strikes right down the middle to yourself and strike yourself out. That way these games go by much quicker with quick counts on. I wasn't sure if the broadcast, depending on if it was on fast play or broadcast mode, I wasn't sure if that had any effect. Uh, previous programs, if you had the fast play on, then you would only get like one program star for playing a, a pitcher's lock moment. So I wanted to try and try some of these things out, test a couple of these ideas out. And also shout out to Twin Gaming. He's the one that initially found this out or a couple of his friends found it out and let him know about that. I just thought that this was a great idea. I wanted to let you guys know as well. I did indeed try it oh, just this one time and I was able to get the program completed. This is the la I was at 298 stars right when I finished that. I also reached level 99 diamond, so I'll have two uh, choice packs for some of those 99 bosses or 99 overall signature series cards as well as the six inning program boss. So as you saw, I already selected Ken Griffey Jr. You will get a chance to see that once again. I do have a couple other diamonds that I'm going to go ahead and choose. I figured I would just pick up uh, Jason Kendall out of this pack. I chose him once before. He's pretty good, but also he doesn't have a signature series card, so I figured he might go for a few thousand more stubs or a couple hundred more stubs than some of the other guys. Anyway, I went ahead and selected Joe Morgan and Brooks Robinson, the two remaining signature series cards I have from this choice pack, or I guess from the uh, XP reward path as well. And I couldn't pass up on Griffey. I am going to be debuting him in a video. I have to do something quickly run a couple errands and then I'm gonna get back debut him in a gameplay in ranked seasons I'm at 841 rating so I am gonna be trying to make a push towards World Series but as you guys could see those daily missions were very important I was able to complete those I just wanted to quickly show you guys uh, how many stars you are able to get I was able to have 
two sets of those daily missions stocked up because I didn't play the game on Wednesday, the day before the game came out, or the, the program came out. So that was very important. I am 6-0 and in this Battle Royale run. I know I said I started at 4-0. and I did play a couple of games, so we already have two wins towards the 10 wins that we need for the program. And as you guys know, I already have it done, but this is at this moment in time, I just wanted to kind of upload this out of order a little bit to try and explain to you guys how I was able to do this and also piece it together with some highlights. I wanted to let you guys know uh, all the good information at the very beginning of the video and then have some gameplay at the end. So if you're wondering why I did upload it out of order, it was just so that you weren't bored with some Battle Royale gameplay. I'm not the greatest at Battle Royale gameplay, but uh, I am going to go ahead and play it anytime there is a program like this. If there was an event out, I definitely would have hopped into that mode. But at the same time, I'm 6-0 in BR, so I'm doing well with this team. It's not a very good team at all. As you can see, I mean, all you can see is the rotation, but the lineup is not that great. We will be going into uh, the loading screen, the lineup screen right now, just because this opponent has the 99 Signature Series, Ken Griffey Jr. So that's pretty uh, awesome to see. I am going to be going up against him, and we don't really have that good of a squad. We have a couple bronzes in there. The best player is Signature Series, Roberto Alomar. Uh, Max Kepler is a gold. He's the guy that's in the leadoff spot right there, lefty, lefty. And uh, that's going to bring up Alomar. So I need to get something going early and often. I do have a pretty good bullpen with this team, though. I had uh, the Silver Air Gagne. I have the uh, the Gold Dellen Batances. I also have Kenley Jansen as a diamond. So a couple good guys. I also, as my lefty, have Tony Sip. So not the greatest lefty, but he is indeed a gold and does have some pretty good uh, per nines, as well as the slider and a changeup, which is all I really want in a left-handed pitcher anyway a sinker would be nice as well but anyway a solid lefty there aren't that many options in this game for left-handed pitchers but there uh, Roberto Alomar sending out a no doubt home run on a power swing another tip or I guess another idea that I've, I'm having while I play battle royale is that you really want to try and avoid extra inning games and that's really any time but especially when you're trying to get these uh, wins rather quickly you want to try and get these online wins as fast as possible so that way you can get to grinding online or uh, grinding against the computer for the remainder of the program stars you don't really want to grind against the CPU before you hop into online because it can mess you up a little bit but I was able to get that last win we move up to 9 and 0 and the 12 game is Sean Green so I was surprised to see uh, Sean Green as the 12 game reward I know that he was a 12 and 0 flawless earlier on in the year and I know that they switched up the Battle Royale settings a little bit, but I didn't even know you could still unlock that card as a 12-game diamond. So I have a chance to get that guy, which I've never used at all in this game. And uh, in previous years, he was pretty good, but you still need a couple more wins. You have to take it one at bat at a time, one batter at a time. Same thing when you're playing ranked seasons or any other mode online, I would say. Uh, against the computer, though, like I was saying earlier, you can develop some bad habits by swinging at all or swinging at pitches out of the zone pretty much swinging at every everything and uh, developing bad habits in that way with PCI placement uh, moving it too fast at the last second just because you're used to playing against the computer uh, that's just something that I noticed playing these programs and it might be something that you guys notice in that Ken Griffey Jr. debut I don't know yet I am uh, excited to play with that card though I can't wait I've been waiting for Ken Griffey Jr. all year and I'm really curious to see what his price is going to settle at I think that he's going to be one of the more expensive bosses that we've seen I think same with Piazza I also think that that Mike Piazza after using him in the moments has a really nice swing I do notice a little bit of a difference than last year uh, from last year's game but so far in this battle royale game, we are down a run. The opponent was able to hit the ball pretty well with two outs in the first inning. And uh, now I'm trying to get that run back. I was just late on that swing with Cattell Marte. We do have Travis Shaw up at the plate. And I was early on that one, so just couldn't quite get the timing down so far. But that one was able to fall. I mean, the, first, uh, the, the previous couple games of this run, I was really locked in at the plate. And this guy seemed to be uh, pitching much more effectively, locating uh, a lot of the pitches on the outside, inside corners of the zone. This one he's uh, left over the middle of the plate. I was able to hit it lefty-lefty with Daniel Murphy and score the tying run. However, he has Jim Edmonds in center field, so I wasn't able to score the go-ahead run. Ended up getting out 
uh, with the with the next batter. But we do take the lead here with Zach Cozart, the bronze card off the bench. This card is pretty good, especially the diamond version. Definitely has a nice swing in the game, the one-handed quick swing. And that's going to bring up Roberto Alomar. This opponent left in his pitcher, who was, uh, I'm pretty sure, a bronze lefty. I'm not even sure who it was, but a couple pitches in, he was in the yellow for stamina. I was able to send that one out on an... Not a no-doubter, but definitely a nice hit on a regular X-Swing from Roberto Alomar. But uh, this opponent's definitely not going down without a fight. I don't expect him to. He's a great player, 12-0 player. I could tell that he was going to try and come back in this game. We do have him down to his last couple of outs. The double play gets us out of this game, and we get the win. But he does send out a two-run shot to tie it up there with Benito Santiago. So that's not really the... That's probably the worst thing that can happen. That's not really what I was going for. I was trying to get the double play, throw the cutter low and away. And this opponent was able to get a nice ground ball there. Potentially a double play. His second baseman bobbled it. But that's a good squared up swing. 112. Chance to walk it off. And I also felt like I put a pretty good swing on this one with Daniel Murphy. I thought that that one was going to be sent out. But maybe a little bit just late. He also doesn't have the most power. I didn't quite get the barrel of the bat to the baseball. Or maybe didn't get the PCI up to the ball in time. On this one though, I definitely felt like I did. I felt like it might have even been above the baseball to get on top of it a little bit. I also power swung with uh, Orlando Arcia, but the opponent was able to take the lead on a couple base hits and then he delivers the dagger, the three run shot with Lou Gehrig, the opposite field, and that's going to do it for the run. We are able to get this uh, 85 to 89 diamond choice pack though for going nine or ten and one, I guess you could say. I wasn't able to uh, finish out that run, but we are going to go ahead and open up some of these packs. But obviously, I was able to uh, redraft and get another uh, squad going for another couple wins. I did have to win four more games after losing that 10-1 and run. But anyway, definitely a solid run there with that last team. Not the greatest team, but I did draft that team like a month and a half ago probably. And sometimes I do that where I'll just sit on a BR team for a while. And sometimes we uh, they'll string it together for me. And I tend to do well doing that. But... It is what it is. I haven't really entered ba Battle Royale too often this uh, this year, but we do have this 85 to 89 choice pack. I'll also have the 100 program stars choice pack in here. You guys know that I already completed the program. I included that at the beginning, so you knew that I got the wins. I just wanted to keep this video short and sweet for you guys. Let's go ahead and see who we can get out of this 85 to 89 diamond choice pack, and we get 86 uh, Walker Bueller. it looks like. I'm probably going to just go ahead and select him. He has the least chance of getting downgraded. I'll probably just quick sell him. But anyway, for 200 program stars, I also selected Matt Carpenter and sold him for 25k stubs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys understood the kind of the process of me uploading this video and understood how to complete the six inning program as quickly as possible. Really just by playing the game, you are able to unlock a lot of program stars and uh, just a matter of how much time you're willing to put in to do so. Thank you guys once again and peace out.